A lot of people don't even know what sculpture is anymore. We all know about Britney Spears and Madonna and Tupac Shakur and, and Spielberg, but we don't know about sculptors and we don't know about painters. And I'm doing my part to change that. My art is a public statement. It is large scale. It is uh, asking questions. It is confronting the culture that we live in. Sculpture is uh, a valid art form. It's an important art form. Uh, and it can rival the uh, strength of any of these popular media. One day when I was walking home from a meeting that I, that I had, uh, with uh, a couple of collectors. I had this vision of taking some of my figurative work that I had been uh, working on, some of these bronze sculptures. And I, it was almost a humorous vision. I thought to myself, you know, what would happen if, if this pedestal, this really benign thing that sits underneath a sculpture, you know, and just kind of makes it, makes it acceptable to look at? What would happen if this pedestal took on a very ominous presence conceptually, you know, in the work and kind of overwhelmed the figure. You know, I thought, well, why don't I do that? A one piece looked like a ladder that went up to heaven, to, to the sky. So I, I gave it the name Jacob's Ladder based on the story from the Bible. It features two vertical I-beam elements. It rises from the ground to a height of 26 feet. In between the I-beams are these figures that are attached in a horizontal fashion. There's something ironic about a title like this with, with these very industrial elements. I've also been working on a, a sculpture called Lazarus. It's a piece that features two bronze figures and they're inside, they're actually encased inside of these steel plate boxes. And uh, so when you look at the piece from a distance, you don't even notice that, that there's any figurative element at all. It just looks like this gigantic, um, alien structure. We're pretty typical of any art foundry. There's quite a few now in the U.S., over a hundred. Cedric brought some original pieces that we had to make rubber molds of, and that's where the process really starts. A rubber mold is made, a wax impression is made. That then you can pour the bronze into. Uh, we melt our bronze at just under 2200 degrees and you can pour the bronze into that and when it solidifies you sandblast away all of those layers of sand and you have the casting. It's really exciting to put these really massive pieces together, like the Jacob's Ladder, or like Lazarus, because Cedric is, is sort of the um, orchestrator, and he has these strategies for how things are going to be assembled. And the way his, his process works is he looks at the stock of the I-beams that he has, he looks at the tools that he has, and then he kind of figures out, okay, well, I've got an I-beam that's about this big, and I've got a big hunk of metal that's about this big, and I've got a forklift, what can I build? We get what's called a plate dog, is this steel clamp, and we lift things up, and we kind of just 
shimmy stuff around and we use leverage. Actually, the installation of the work was really an unintended performance piece. When this 25 foot I-beam was about to fall down, you know, all of us were, were just losing it. And then Cedric got this nutty idea where, where he, he'd put like a piece of plywood underneath this I-beam and then the fork lowered like six inches and two guys like pulled up, pulled up the plywood back. I kept saying, Cedric, this isn't gonna work. This, is, this isn't gonna work. You know, we, we, we ought to just, just uh, pick it back up and figure out a, a different way. He was like, no, no, it's gonna work. No, trust me, it's gonna work. You know, so, so, so it worked and it was back down on the ground and nobody got hurt. All right, let's go. The Oak Museum, Jack London. Um, actually, a lot of times. Yeah, like like little shows, you know. Um, setting up stuff at George's house. Um, probably around maybe ten times. Yeah. yeah so it's really exciting because, you know, um, it's just it just feels like 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 you said it's not his backyard anymore. Okay. Center. Yeah. 